Hi, Entrepreneur is with uh, the CEO and uh, founder of Climacell, an exciting weather tech company which is an American company started by an Israeli and uh, he's expanded in India. He's in cashing on the opportunity that uh, weather technology uh, paucity in India uh, provides and there is enough room for growth and he's going to tell me more about what he's doing. Hi. Hey. I want to know from you, uh, Climacell Inn is, is one of the companies into the enterprise software space. I understand you also have an app and one of your early investors was Ratan Tata. Uh, will you be able to tell me what you're doing in India, what kind of interest you see, sure. uh, what kind of growth opportunities exist? Yeah, sure. So we're a global uh, company aiming to become the leading uh, weather technology company in the world. And what we're doing is really we're creating data everywhere in the world. And that data is extremely helpful in places where data is lacking or insufficient. Um, once you have data in place, right. you can model and predict the weather accurately. Right. And we are also doing uh, modeling work around weather, of course. And on top of it, we build products. What we did specifically in India over the last two years was looking at what we call the weather of things. I see. Virtual sensors, things that are not supposed to sense the weather, but we can use in order to create reliable weather data. So we started with cellular networks, okay. and we tapped into networks that cover the entire country. And by reverse engineering the signals in the air to, to weather data, we can now tell on a very localized way uh, where is it raining in every piece of India. And based on that predict, uh, months ago we launched our software in India and our API, and uh, now we can provide solutions for all kind of industries and soon also to consumers. We announced our uh, global forecasting system and it works in over 35 cities in India. I we see. provide 24 to 48 hours alert of localized events uh, with very high resolution and accuracy. I see, I see. So who are your uh, customers? You know, what is your customer base? In India specifically, are you in uh, collaboration with any company? Uh, who are uh, your potential partners? So our potential partners are of course on the airline space, on the agriculture space, and specifically on the renewable and energy space. Um, India is very strong on the renewable space and we've been talking to a few customers in that area. Uh, we just launched in India, so we're now in, in early discussions and hopefully before the monsoon season, our technology will be in the hands of as many customers as possible. Besides uh, being uh, the first player advantage, what differentiator do you see in your technology that uh, will uh, ensure that you have a dominant position in a country like India? So it's all about the data. And uh, the traditional approach is to come and, and install sensors and then maintain them. It's not scalable in, a, in such a space. It's not scalable when farmers don't have um, the option to pay for their premium like they can in developed countries. So our approach is basically reducing the cost and making the technology installation much more scalable. Because if everything is software based, then you can do it rapidly. And that's how you can take a country from very low uh, weather data and quality of weather data to almost like in the US without breaking the bank. Uh, and that's, I think, our main advantage. The second advantage is the fact that we can turn those data points to uh, reliable weather models. The data simulation piece, how you take this data and make it valuable for the forecast, is something very unique to us.